and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I am streaming to you from Hungary here in the Carpathian Basin. I hope everybody has had a great weekend so far and looking forward to an even more fantastic Sunday. In this class, we are looking at speaking part three, mastering communication for the speaking section of the exam. Hi, Violet. Hi, Flower Sun. Nice names. Uh, good to see these students in the class and get to see everybody else. Hi, Michael Fan. While we wait for some more of your peers, this lesson is brought to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS. Check us out there. And for the general version of the test, check us out at gieltshelp.com. On both of these websites, we have loads and loads of great materials for you. And you can use the uh, coupon code R4TYJ to get a 20% discount when you sign up today. Uh, the uh, academic web portal looks like this with the blue background. Click that big red button to join the premium package. And again, use the code R4TYJ for some savings to help you on your IELTS journey. Uh, this is the gieltshelp.com website here with the green background. Click that big red button to join us there. Hi, Karan. Hi, Mudhu. Hi, Rajveer. Carolina, nice to see you in class. Hi, Yura. Good to see many students. You can also link uh, your apps, Academic IELTS Help to ahelp.com and General IELTS Help to gieltshelp.com. The apps are available in your app stores. If you have questions, send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com and I will gladly answer. You can get our books from Amazon. Search for A Helps Academic IELTS or G Helps uh, General IELTS. Students, a really important announcement. Um, so our schedule from February 29th until uh, March 8th. Uh, this is the last class in this week, and then uh, from tomorrow until Friday, there are no classes. The next class will be Saturday on March 7th. It will be speaking part one for everybody, and then uh, after that, March 8th, speaking part two and speaking part three, just really uh, practicing speaking and fluency, building vocabulary and grammar simultaneously. So keep that schedule in mind. I will also post this on our YouTube community board with some other um, materials from the last week. So some task one, uh, task two essays. I will post those. And again, uh, keep an eye on the channel because we will be releasing a new uh, reading section video and a new speaking section video. Uh, we released uh, another speaking section video just yesterday with a native uh, British candidate. Okay, on Shal, I will be away on a trip. That's why there are no classes. So, but again, keep in mind uh, there will be will be a couple of uh, new HD lesson releases in the next week for uh, speaking and reading. Okay, so keep an eye on those. All right. So students, uh, we're going to uh, get into our speaking part three. Speaking part three is the third and most challenging part of the speaking interview. Uh, these are questions related to the topic of part two. It's really important for part uh, three tip, uh, pay close attention to the questions identify the subject and make sure you clearly understand it. Um, if you don't catch the question the first time, once or twice you may ask I'm sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I didn't quite catch 
what you are asking me. Would you mind repeating that question? Okay, and I'm sure that they will repeat it. If not, if you really didn't catch it, they don't repeat it, they go to the next one. It's still better than going off topic, okay? Um, Rajvir, I'm happy you like that uh, video, Beyond Isles. That's our newest series. All right, so again, repeat after me. I'm sorry, I'm a bit nervous, and I didn't quite catch what you're asking me. Would you mind repeating the question? The examiners cannot paraphrase questions, but they can repeat them, okay? Um, so you can use this phrase once or twice in part three if you really didn't get the question. If you still don't understand the question, because part three questions are challenging, okay? So if you are sure that you do not understand the question, then ask to move to the next one, okay? And you can say, I'm not exactly sure what you are asking me. Can we just move to the next question? Okay, now this is not ideal. So this is, it's not a perfect situation. Of course, you will lose marks, if, especially if you say that several times, but you won't lose as many marks and you won't lose time um, if you just talk completely off topic. So uh, this is not, so keep in mind, this is not a perfect situation by any means, but it is better than giving a silly answer and wasting valuable time from the interview that could be better spent on questions which you understand. Okay, D does that make sense? So ideally, you answer every question that you're being asked, but especially in part three, if you get a question where you're like, I have no idea, uh, then don't start talking about your cousin's wedding last September, hoping that shooting in the dark will somehow magically uh, hit that little butterfly. Uh, it's not going to happen, okay? Um, so in that case, just say, I'm sorry, I really don't understand what you're asking me. Can we please just move on? And then go to the next question, focus, forget the last one, let it go, and then focus on the new question. Hopefully you'll get that one, okay? Stay calm, don't panic, okay? Um, students do that all the time. Also, uh, by the way, students, if you are speaking off topic and you're giving strange responses, there's a chance that the examiner will cut your interview shorter than they would otherwise, okay? So if the examiner feels like you're just talking and saying whatever you can, regardless of what the question is, whether or not you understand it, and you just talk, 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 they'll probably just shorten the interview because they already have an idea that your coherence score is quite low, they're gonna give you a band five, and then just go on to the next student. So you really don't want to give silly answers. Silly answers are really bad, okay? All right? All right, um, so students, keeping that in mind, let's do focus on answering these questions well. Remember the most important tip, the most important tip is answer, explain, and example, this is not a chit chat. You're showing your ultimate skills in communication using English. So maybe some of you remember last week, uh, we talked about a successful day in your life. We came up with some different topics. Rescuing uh, an animal was one of them. I don't really even remember what we talked about. Anybody remember what part two, talk about a successful day in your life, what we talked about? Because this part three is continuing 
uh, from that part two. And you'll know that when the examiner says, that is the end of part two. I'll take back the card, uh, the note paper, the pencil, and now we will continue with part three. I will um, ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two, which was about a cricket match, winning the junior championships. That's right. Thank you for the reminder, uh, Tim and Rajveer. Okay, so the cricket match. All right. So here we go, students. Let's get into it. Uh, give me some nice full sentence answer answers. What are the important factors for a person to attain their goals? So what are the important factors for a person to attain their goals? Attain means to reach or to achieve. It's the same. Okay. So what are the important factors to attain a goal. So here we're basically thinking about steps or the requirements, the elements. If you can't come up with an answer right away, you can always say that's an interesting question. Uh, dedication, Bajay, Buzznet, it's a great idea, but you need to put that into a sentence. Okay, I can't, I can, I can only give you a very little score for just saying one word. Okay, so that's an interesting question. Well, in my opinion, so buy yourself a little time to think if you don't know the answer right away. And let's see what some students are answering for this. So Flower Sun says, in my opinion, hard work and balance between work and self-care can help people easily get to their goals and make their dreams become a reality. Watch the corrections, Flower Sun. Uh, don't say, in my opinion, I think, because that's just a repeat. So, in my opinion, or I think, but don't say both. Kind of sounds weird. Okay. All right. Answer, explain, example. Kevin Bowie says the key components for an individual to realize their objectives boil down to planning and execution according to the plan. What I mean is that a person needs to drop a feasible timeline with specific milestones to keep track of his progress and stick to it without giving in to temptation. This is especially true in my case when I train myself to score 8.5 in IELTS. And Kevin Bowie, with answers like that, I think you might even get a nine. So, well, in my opinion, the key components to, uh, to reaching one's objectives it boils down to planning... I would say careful planning, careful planning and execution. Of course, uh, persistence is a critical component of this process, as was in my case when I started to study for this exam half a year back. All right. So I took some elements from Kevin Bowie and I'll read a couple more students. Don't worry. But that was a really nice response by Kevin Bowie. Kevin, it's good. If you're fluent, say it all. Um, don't over speak. Okay, students. So answer, explain, example. Repeat after me. What are the important factors for a person to attain their goals? That's an interesting question. Well, in my opinion, the key components to reaching one's objectives boils down to careful planning and execution. Of course, persistence is a critical aspect of this process, as was in my case when I started to study for this exam half a year back. That will be your band nine answer. That's enough for band nine, okay? Answer, explain, example. So why is this... Um, why is this a band nine? Of course, you can see that there's great lexical resource. Okay, I'm going to paraphrase there. Uh, boils down 
two. So this is an idiomatic expression that Kevin Bowie used to boil down. Um, boil down means um, concentrates or summarizes two. Okay. All right. So there's an answer, there's an explanation, and then there's a smooth flowing example, as was in my case when I started to study for this exam half a year back. Or if we want to connect, as I'm sure maybe some of you have done, um, we could say, as was in my case, when I began practicing for the cricket uh, championships, last year okay because that was what we answered for part two all right so make sure you make those connections between part three and part two wherever you can all right i'll look at a couple more i know many of you are working hard to get these answers out so i'll look at a couple more before we move on hazara care guzara says Hard work and consistency are the major factors to achieve goals. If people keep their eye on the prize and do uh, work daily, they will uh, overcome difficult situations. Hazara, good. Notice my corrections. Okay, those were some important corrections there. Students, when I'm um, reflecting on your response and I make corrections, Indicate the time in the video. Hazara, it was 16 minutes, 20 seconds for you. And then you can come back and check the difference between what you say and what I say. Okay? So factors, plural, Hazara. Um, and uh, not keep, if you keep on track is okay. Not keep on the track. It's keep on track. And another idiom that we use is uh, keep your eye on the prize. Okay, this is another um, idiom, which means to keep focus on your goals, all right? Farkhod John Dadajnov says, without a doubt, I would definitely say hard work plays an essential role uh, to reach goals. For instance, two years ago, I studied at least 12 hours a day and achieved great success. Uh, what was that great success? Did you graduate university? Did you win a prize? Did you get a uh, distinction? So be even more specific, okay? As specific as possible, students. Roshni says, absolutely, there are some imperative factors that people should do to achieve their goals, which are consistency, improving oneself, and dedication towards work. Uh, like to get a Band-Aid on the IELTS exam. Okay, good, Roshni. Notice the corrections. Pachu says, there are several factors for a person to achieve his goals. Some of them are uh, perseverance, hard work, regular activity, and motivation for doing the work. Good, Pachu. Some nice vocabulary there. Perseverance, very synonymous with persistence. Okay. All right. Jay Mehta says, uh, I gave my speaking exam yesterday. It was amazing, thanks to your guidance. Um, also, the examiner wrote 13 on his sheet. What does that mean? That could just be the identification number, Jay, uh, 13. But I hope that the exam went well. Uh, when you get your mark, come back, let us know, or send me an email, let me know how you did, okay? All right. Let's see some more. Um, Rajveer Singh says, in my opinion, constant effort and diligence are vital for people to accomplish their goals. Like I practiced hard for five years to improve my cricket skills, as I mentioned in part two. Uh, Rajveer, that's good. Uh, constant effort, Rajveer, and diligence are the same. So in this case, Rajveer, I would just use the word diligence. It's a higher level vocabulary. Um, that expresses constant effort, okay? Just like persistence or perseverance. So just use the word diligence. Don't repeat the same idea, all right? Okay, Mudhu says, I think time management and hard work are key factors 
to reaching goals. Like my uh, daily study schedule uh, for the past six months to get hopefully band eight on this exam. Madhu, add your example. Okay, so answer, explain, example. Uh, for those students who are seeing some new words or expressions, make sure to write it down. Boils down to, okay, means the same as comes down to. It's another way to say this comes down to. Uh, means the way that it happens. And then keep your eye on the prize. Okay, keep your eye on the prize. Uh, students, this is a speaking class, so make sure to speak and repeat. Okay. Hanny, stay away from the word things in your answers. All right, uh, follow-up question. Now, in the uh, part three of the exam, the examiners are constantly asking these uh, follow-up questions, okay? So um, make sure to be ready for them. Practice them. Uh, what can create barriers to achieving goals? So what can create barriers? A barrier is a block. It's a, it's a blockade, okay? So if here's a person and we put a big... A uh, piece of stone or wall in front of them, this would be a barrier. All right. So, what can create barriers for achieving goals? Let's see what you have there. All right. So, Ines. Taskali says, actually, uh, surroundings and beliefs can prevent people from reaching their aims. Like when my room is dirty, I cannot focus on my studies. Um, as well, if I sink into despair, I don't want to practice anymore. Uh, good, Ines. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's one of my pet peeves as well. I really don't like to work in a disorganized room or office. Absolutely. Uh, Begjun Omir Zak says laziness and procrastination are the main barriers to reaching goals because this causes people to postpone important actions when achieving their purpose. Uh, yeah, uh, procrastination is a great word, uh, Begjun. Procrastinate means to keep putting um, our chores or our uh, responsibilities off into the future. So if I say, oh, I'll do my homework tomorrow. And then tomorrow I say, oh, I'll do my homework tomorrow. And then I'll say, oh, I'll do my homework on the weekend. I'll have more time. Uh, that's procrastination. So nice word uh, used there, Beck Chun. Thanks for sharing that with the group. Procrastination. Uh, Levy, I'm explaining how to give answers for band nine and for good communication in uh, part three of the speaking exam. Madhu Paila, our member, says, I think hard work time management are key factors to reaching goals. <clears throat> okay, Madhu, that's good for the previous uh, question. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo Duarte says, I think for most people, it's all about time these days. Uh, individuals find themselves frequently running out of time and making so many compromises uh, during their daily lives. I have uh, a six month old baby and my wife and I have been investing most of our time taking care of him. Okay, Rodrigo. So an overwhelming amount of work can create barriers for people to achieve certain goals, right? So overwhelming amount of work, Rodrigo. Uh, Charlie Sen says, I think distractions of any kind from the goal and mishaps or unexpected incidents create obstacles to achieving goals. I remember during my ninth exam, my aunt passed away I, and I couldn't concentrate on my studies. I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Charlie. It's a good example. Okay, it's a very good example. It's a very good response. And I like how you paraphrased with obstacles. Okay. So I definitely believe 
that some of the uh, obstacles which can negate individuals from achieving their vision can be both internal and external, such as poor attitude, like procrastination or unexpected circumstance like a losing a job or the birth of a child which may demand uh, attention. All right. So I've uh, taken a few of the different words that you've used well and some of the concepts and combined it for you into a band nine uh, response. Here we go. Repeat after me. Uh, what can create barriers to achieving goals? I definitely believe that some of the obstacles which can negate individuals from achieving their vision can be both internal and external, such as poor attitude, like procrastination or unexpected circumstance like losing a job or the birth of a child, which may demand greater attention. Okay. Uh, certainly, it has been challenging to study for this exam and take care of my six month old son at the same time, okay? Giving a little bit more kudos uh, to uh, Rodrigo. All right, so answer, explain, example. Good job, students, good job. Here we go, next question. Which are common life goals for people across the globe? Give me a nice, full sentence answer for this one. Which are common life goals for people across the planet? So think global here. Think global. All right. Let's see what you come up with. Bipan says, thank you so much, sir. I scored band 6.5 with each band, no less than six. It is all with your support and videos. Once again, thank you. Bipan, you are super welcome. Congratulations. I'm happy that meets your needs and requirements. If you have a moment, go uh, on the computer, send me an email. All right. Uh, Kevin Bowie says, happiness, wealth, and success are three shared life pursuits for virtually everyone around the world. If such goals are achieved, we can lead a fulfilling life, truly living with our passion and interests, like traveling the world and meeting the president. All right. Yeah, it's good, Kevin. Kevin, be careful not to overspeak. I think um, uh, the first part is really good and maybe giving a, an example there would be a little bit better. Uh, rather than that second part, okay? All right. Uh, Harman Preet Kaur says, common achievements are completing high school, getting a stable job, and establishing a happy and healthy family. Right, Harman Preet? Almost. Got them all. Uh, Flower Sun says, I guess that common goals that everyone shares is to uh, go abroad, get a high ban in the IELTS exam, <laughs> although this is common to achieve, it can help people's lives be much better in the future and for their children. Uh, flower son, do not use the word your, okay? So again, just a reminder, students, this is a really important tip because I still see many of you doing this. Uh, to quickly improve your band score, okay? 
So to quickly improve your speaking band score by at least uh, 0.5, avoid using and practice not using the words you, we, us, our, things, stuff in your speaking answers. Okay, why? Because these words are most often used incorrectly and they have very low value in communication. So you need to find better nouns, okay? Better pronouns than those words. So stay away from those words, all right? Vijinder Singh says, uh, common life goals among people is reached at the peak uh, when living with a family. Okay, Vijendra, I think you're a, you have a good start. You need to uh, elaborate, add more information. Moss says, getting married is a critical goal for all individuals uh, because it's the way to start a new journey in life, namely building a family and having children. Okay, Moch, not bad. Just finish the idea. Vatsal says, Vatsal Kathri, Kathriya says, money is the solution for any problem. So I think that money is one of the most common life goals for people all around the world. Certainly, uh, it's one of my goals so that I can afford all the luxuries that I dream of, like a house, a car, and a happy, healthy family who gets to travel around the world. Right, Vatsal? So again, not dot, 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 okay? That's not going to work. You have to complete that idea. Uh, Anya, I think, I can't read the Cyrillic, but nowadays it is considered that good career achievement, being rich and independent are basic goals among people around the world, not pupils, but around among people. Okay. I think getting a good salary is the most demanding goal across the world. What I'm trying to say is that everybody wants to pursue a better life in terms of uh, socioeconomic status. Charlie, the more accurate term is socioeconomic status. Okay, socioeconomic status. Uh, Rajveer Singh says, in my opinion, getting a higher paying job and buying the dream home are some mutual targets set by millions of people worldwide. These empower people for prosperity and happiness. Great, Rajveer. Nice use of the word empower. Good for you practicing new vocabulary. Okay. Bumi says, well, I think uh, the general goal around the world is graduation, becoming millionaires, being happy and healthy, as I have many of these goals to become physically and mentally healthy by doing regular exercise. Bahumi, nice. I like it. Elena Mori says, the primary goal of each individual around the world is to achieve financial stability, to settle in life, and to have good health. These are in, uh, essential, irrespective of culture, tradition, and times. Very nice answer, Elena. I like it. Okay, practice the fluency as well. All right, so I'll take some of those and answer uh, the question also. So, I think uh, some goals that are unanimous for people all over the world are uh, success in work and family as well as living a happy, a long, happy and healthy life. Of course, there are 
some milestones along the way, such as graduating university and getting married. This is what I'm looking forward to over the next few years. All right. So here we go. Uh, repeat after me one more time. Uh, which are common life goals for people across the globe? I think some goals that are unanimous for people all over the world are success in work and family, as well as living a long, happy, and healthy life. Of course, there are some milestones along the way, such as graduating university and getting married. Uh, this is what I'm looking forward to over the next few years. My case, not completely true. I've graduated university and I'm married with child, but that will make sense. Uh, Joanne Justy says, certainly individuals have common goals to make more money and pay bills, uh, as well as traveling around the world, buying a beautiful house, a nice car without worrying about finances. Joanne, nice. All right, follow-up question, students. Follow-up question, here we go. Why is not everyone able to reach these goals? Give me a nice full sentence answer for that. So why is everyone not able to reach these goals? Flower Sun says, I think some people can't afford to continue their education or maybe they don't have the skills uh, to get high bands on the IELTS exam. Uh, Flower Sun, careful with your unnecessary words. Gunjan Bhatt says, there are several reasons behind this situation. The first, maybe they are not focused in their life. And the second is they do not value their time. As a result, they struggle to reach their objectives. Uh, Gunjan Bhatt, nice, okay? Give me an example maybe to make it even clearer, personal or otherwise. Awaz Akhmedov says, individuals can't be successful or rich because they are afraid to fail or lose money. As the saying goes, the key to success is to focus on goals, not obstacles. Yeah, and remember students, uh, we did talk about um, what can create barriers to achieve goals. So here we talked about procrastination, right? Or unexpected circumstance like losing a job. And you might want to connect and reflect on that answer to build cohesion among your answers and further improve your band scores. So keep in mind what you said before, always, okay? That can help you get better band scores. All right. So, uh, Tim, I think Tim, right, was the name you mentioned last time with the Cyrillic. Um, as I said previously, there are some obstacles that deter people from achieving goals. Since I'm lazy, I probably won't accomplish my goal of getting a band nine on this exam. Um, okay, that's a good answer. So you're making that connection. And ironically, you probably will get that band nine. Uh, it's a good answer. Okay. Barinder Jassal is doing the same. So Barinder uh, Jassal says, well, as I just mentioned earlier, one has to be very determined or dedicated in achieving their goals. And these are the factors which are not executed by people properly. And that's why they fail. Good, Barinder. Nice connection. I like it. Great job to both of you, Tim and Barinder. Uh, Elena says to achieve uh, goals and um, is not a smooth path. It requires dedication and uh, sacrifice, mental strength and planning. Not all people are capable of this. Therefore, not everyone achieves their goals. Elena, not bad, but Elena, remember the question, right? The question was, 
uh, why is not everyone able to achieve these goals? So you have to make sure that you're directly relating to the question, okay? Aika Kish says, firstly, many people are procrastinating. Secondly, individuals cannot reach their goals uh, due to lack of responsibility. Aika, lack of responsibility. And Elena, I see the second half of what you said now. Most of the time, people do not want to leave the, their comfort zones and put up a tough fight. Some people also believe in shortcuts. Yeah, that's true. And that doesn't always work. Nice idiomatic language, Elena. They don't want to put up a tough fight. Good. Ulugbek, Ulugbek says, I think it depends on the character of the person and their level of motivation. Okay. Ulugbek, then go into a clear explanation afterwards. All right. So, uh, as I had mentioned earlier, certain individuals tend to delay their responsibilities and ultimately this leads to uh, failure. Of course, in some unique situations, bad luck can also play into a lack of success. In the uh, cricket tournament, one team lost because their best player caught the flu. Okay, so again, lots of connections, lots of connections. Repeat after me. Why is not everyone able to reach these goals? As I had mentioned earlier, certain individuals tend to delay their responsibilities and ultimately this leads to failure. Of course, in some unique situations, bad luck can also play into a lack of success. In the cricket tournament, one team lost because their best player caught the flu. Right? Because part two, we talked about successful day, cricket tournament. Make that connection there. It's fairly smooth and straightforward. Okay, uh, here we go. Next question. Uh, when are people most ambitious to be successful? That's an interesting one. Uh, give me a nice full sentence answer for that. So when are people most ambitious to be successful? successful it's a little bit of a challenging question uh, for Dov says after graduating university people feel more confident to achieve their dreams as in that time they are full of knowledge and energy very good for Dov's okay I'm sure you can probably throw an example in there as well you visualized and identified that really well for Dobbs. Good job. Uh, Beck John Omer Zak says, people are the most ambitious when they are watching a motivating video since these contents make them push forward uh, just as I have watched many videos before. Okay, Beck John, yeah, so motivated by others, by seeing the success of others, absolutely. Yeah, that's why it's really good students when you succeed on the IELTS exam and you come back to these live lessons and you share your success, as many of our students do. Uh, also on our websites, many students share their success stories. Uh, that inspires and motivates other students so they know that, yeah, it is possible. And um, please do that in the future, okay? So we instill inspiration into each other, okay? We instill inspiration into each other. Okay. Alex Lim says, in my opinion, some people cannot afford to go to university. And one reason is struggling financial. Okay, that's for the previous one, right, Alex? Previous one. 
All right. Let's see. Hanny Grewal says, nowadays, everyone wants to become successful, but teenagers are the most curious uh, for such success, like me. Okay, honey, good. Yeah, teenagers are full of ambition, and they are fearless. They're fearless. Barinder Jassal says, well, I believe when people have clarity towards their goals and have a plan to achieve them, they have a certain level of confidence. They must have clarity in what they want to do. Okay, Barinder, that's good. Harminder Kaur says, at the time of setting the goal and during that period feels like the easiest to prepare and accomplish it, but these days uh, passes the motivation reduces. I'm not sure what you mean by the end of that. You want to rephrase that. Okay. Rajveer Singh says, I think when people are passionate and motivated to achieve their targets are uh, when they're usually ambitious to be successful, like we were full of energy to win our final cricket match in the junior tournament. Nice connection, Rajveer, to part two. Nikhil Harwande says, when family members uh, and cohorts, Nikhil, people who are the same age as us, we call them cohorts, C O H. O R T S cohorts. Okay. They achieve success. Uh, Gunjan Bhatt says, for example, my friend belongs to a poor family and he always stays focused on his studies. Yeah, sometimes people are very motivated when they are in challenging situations. Okay. Um, I think the time when most individuals. dare to dream and aspire towards their objectives uh, is during teenage years when anything seems possible. Also in or during certain milestones that I had uh, talked about, such as graduating university or getting married, people often want to prove uh, themselves To the to others and the world this is the reason I started my own company after wedlock all right so uh, repeat after me uh, when are people most ambitious to be successful I think the time when most individuals dare to dream and aspire towards their objectives is during teenage years when anything seems possible. Also, during certain milestones that I, <clears throat> that I had talked about, such as graduating university or getting married, people often want to prove themselves to others and the world. This is the reason I started my own company after wedlock, meaning after I got married. Okay. So, uh, students, uh, now you're moving along. You have a good idea of what to do and how to do it. Express yourself clearly with answers, explanations, examples. Make those critical connections. Paraphrase lots. Show your lexical resource. Here are some more questions for you to practice over the next few days. Uh, let's talk about big life moments. What are the most memorable moments in a person's life? Are all of these positive or are some negative? How can we treasure the important moments in our lives? 
Is it always a good idea to record special moments? Why or why not? Why do we like sharing our special, or sorry, who do we like sharing our special moments with? How do people usually uh, do this? Okay. Those questions you can practice on your own. And uh, you can send me your answer uh, in MP3 format to adrian at aehelp.com. Students, I'm going to stop there for today. You've done a fantastic job and you really are moving along nicely. Beautiful, beautiful uh, use of vocabulary by many students today. That was awesome. Uh, for lots more videos with me and with other teachers in HD pre-recorded uh, format, Check us out at aehelp.com for academic IELTS and g-i-e-l-t-s help.com for general. And today I'm giving you this discount code R4TYJ. You'll get a 20% discount. Um, that's it for me for today. I will be back next Saturday. I'm away on a trip. Uh, this is the general website here. Click that red button to join. This is the academic here with the blue background. Click that button to join. Save yourself headache and time by practicing with quality materials. You're all brilliant people and uh, you have super duper computers sitting on your shoulders. Make sure to use them. We believe in you. Believe in yourself and reach your goals. Bye for now. Much love from Budapest.